welcome back to MCC Connects. Joining me now is Jonathan Crockett, Coordinator of Athletics, Health and Wellness at Middlesex Community College. Thank you for joining me, Jonathan. Thank you for having me today. So I'd like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself. Um, How did you end up at Middlesex Community College? What is your background? Great question. I, um, for a number of years, worked as a residence hall director at um, several different colleges. And so um, that was my experience in working on a college campus, working with students. I ended up um, kind of burning out with that position after <laughs> a while, needed to take a break. And um, my wife got a teaching job in the area, so we moved to Lowell. And, um, a couple of years after living here, there was a position opened at Middlesex, and I decided to get back into the college business again. So, so tell us, what kind of athletics does Middlesex Community College offer? Absolutely. We have a really interesting uh, dynamic for our students at Middlesex. We don't actually have our own um, athletic facilities, but what we have is a partnership with UMass Lowell, and it's great because for us it allows us to participate in the intramurals program at UMass Lowell. We assemble teams of students from Middlesex and then go over to the UMass Lowell facilities to play in their intramurals program. Do you coach all of these teams? We, so it's, uh, thank you for asking that. <laughs> we, we actually have a really great situation where we invite faculty and staff to volunteer as either coaches or advisors for the team. And it's a really a wonderful way to get faculty and staff sort of out of their regular roles, um, either in the classrooms or in their offices, engaged with students in a different context. Uh, so we have, um, Deborah Botker is one of our faculty on campus. Um, she's coached the soccer teams now for about three years. Chris Parcella works in the enrollment mm -hmm. office. He coaches our basketball, men's basketball. Um, Jessica Taverdi coaches our women's basketball team. We have Joanna Delmonico, who has worked with the hockey team for a number of years. Uh, I would say seven, seven years she's been with mm -hmm. that team. And all of these are volunteer positions, so it's faculty staff giving up their time to support these teams. Does a student have to pay for the athletics? It depends on the team that they're, the team or the program they're with. For intramurals, it's free. For hockey, they do have a fee. It's actually a $400 fee, mm -hmm. which for anyone who's played hockey yeah, before knows that that's remarkably inexpensive. Yes, it is. Um, we pay uh, $240 an hour for ice time, so oh, the yeah. $400 per player doesn't go very far. So let's talk about some of the other health and wellness programs that Absolutely. you offer beyond the, the athletics. So tell us about some of those. We have some great annual events that we offer and the idea with, with some of these events is to provide opportunities for our campus community and also the local community to get together um, for these events that are in part social and community building but also with a, a focus on health and wellness. We just actually last Saturday had our annual, it was our third annual um, fitness Trail 5K Challenge right. that's on the Bedford campus and it's a 5K trail race that um, goes out in part on the Bedford Rail Trail. It's um, also on part of our um, Middlesex Fitness Trail mm -hmm. which is out in the woods. It's a beautiful, beautiful trail system and um, we get folks out there to um, either run, walk, jog, however they want to complete the, the 5K of, of that event. And that was the third annual event. It's our third annual, yes. And um, how does that, what is the cost and where does the money go? It's a great question. The cost is, um, so this year it was $25 for faculty, staff, and community members and we offered a $10 price for Middlesex students. Oh, that's great. All of the proceeds for that go to the MCC Foundation, which really s goes back to students um, in a variety of different ways. Okay, so what happens after, so that's the fall event, the yes, 5K. Yes, so in the spring now, we are coming up on our third annual bike challenge, mm -hmm. which is another great event. We um, One that I enjoy. <laughs> I know you love that, and we appreciate your involvement every year. We With the bike challenge, we offer two different ride distances. There's a 10-mile ride and a 40-mile ride, and uh, the 10-mile ride goes through much of Bedford, the town of Bedford, and then the 40-mile ride goes through a number of local towns, including Carlisle and Bedford and Concord, I believe. Yes. Um, it's a beautiful ride. I've beautiful, I've, beautiful ride. I've met um, folks at other bike events in the area who have done it just because they love how beautiful it is. Absolutely. And it's a great time of the year. It's always in June. Yes, and we've had good weather for both events right. so far every year. One of the great things really about both of those events is that we get a lot of community members involved, mm -hmm. folks that maybe didn't know much about Middlesex who come to our campus and they're able to see um, the, f the space that we have and are able to participate in some of these programs and it really helps kind of bring us as an institution together with the community. And to me, that's one of the most rewarding things. And both are very inexpensive, and the money that is raised goes to the Directly foundation. To and the foundation offers scholarships to, to all the students at Middlesex Community Absolutely. College. Thank you, Jonathan Crockett. Yes. Coordinator of Athletics, Health, and Wellness at Middlesex Community College. 
We're going to take a short break. Stay tuned for more MCC Connects.